Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla and today we are making some super fun Christmas headbands. I made five different styles because I have all this Christmas embroidery vinyl that I wanted to use and I couldn't decide, I, I mean this one's gold, it's not really Christmassy, but I couldn't really decide which one I wanted to use and since they slide on and off of a headband, I could make as many as I wanted and change them out and it's not permanent so I thought that was fun. Um, this is a fun like non-traditional one and I think they turned out really cute so I'm going to show you guys exactly how I did this. I used my 5x7 hoop on my Recoma EM1010. I got the design from Creative Fabrica and I will leave it down below. This is a super fun, really quick in the hoop project um, and yeah, it was super, super fun to make. So let's go ahead and get to the video and I'll show you how I made these. Okay, so these are the Christmas prints that I have of embroidery vinyl. Um, you can see the back is like the, like the brushed cotton. And these are pretty thick, but I'm really excited to see how they turn out with the cute Christmas lights. I honestly don't know which one I want to do first. I also grabbed just this gold because I thought it was really pretty. So I got all of these on Etsy last year. Um, I will see if I can find them and I will link them below. If not, um, you can just search in Etsy like Christmas embroidery canvas or Christmas faux leather, um, anything like that, and this stuff will pop up. So I think I might do this candy cane texture first and then I definitely want to do a gold one I don't know if I'm going to do one in every single style uh, but I definitely want to do the candy canes and the gold and I don't know what else what else should I do should I just do all of them I don't even know we'll see as we go but I'm definitely going to start with these two and go from there it's hard to see, but I'm using white thread for my placement stitch. And once that's done, I will lay my embroidery vinyl over the top of it, making sure it's covering the whole design. Then it's going to stitch out the whole design without stopping. However, I do have it set to stop at the second to last step so that I can place another layer of embroidery vinyl on the bottom side of the hoop. And then the very last step will stitch it all together.
And I actually messed up right here. I wanted to use the gold thread for the outline, but I forgot to train to the thread out. So, oh well, red it is. To storm in the visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in his first house. Oh, and the sunset is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, cause that's what we do. Doesn't matter. Okay, so now these are all done, you guys. They are so cute. Oh my gosh. I honest to goodness don't know which one is my favorite. So leave me a comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite. Because I honestly don't know. So this one you can see... Uh, on the pink right here so my thread broke twice and even though I backed it up and started where it stopped for some reason I still got like a uh, like not enough coverage right there so it looks a little funny right there so that's what that is in case you're wondering is where I had a thread break so yeah but I thought it would be fun to do one in not traditional colors and I think it turned out adorable so uh, so these are the headbands that I got. Um, I just picked these up the last time I was at the grocery store. These were literally the only style headband like this that they had. So I didn't really have a choice, so I got it. You can see I got it uh, for $1.99. It was just at my local grocery outlet. So we are just going to slide the headband part on, and I'm going to show you guys how it works. I'm going to use this gold polka dot one. Um... And so basically, even though we sewed the back onto this, it still has an opening where it didn't sew. So if you can see right there, there's um, no stitches right there. So we should just be able to slide this on. And it should just slide all the way over like that and now it is on the headband how cute is that I'm gonna 
um, use this small purple one and do this one. So again, we're just going to find the opening. There it is. And we're just going to slide this on. And there we go. And the embroidery vinyl is pretty flexible, so you can fix it if any of it gets a little misshapen. And there you go. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to try on. I don't think this is going to fit my head perfectly because these are like like little girl headbands. Um, so, but we will put it on anyways, just so that you can see what it looks like. I think these would be super fun for like a Christmas party. I think it would be fun to customize. You can change the bulbs obviously to whatever color you want, but I think it's really cute. So let's go ahead and try each one on. I wanna do the gold one. Maybe we won't do all of them, but I wanna do the gold one. I think that's cute. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think. I think it is absolutely adorable. I love the gold. It's actually pretty comfortable. Like you don't really feel it on your head and it's not, I mean, it's a little wrinkly underneath, but that could just be because it's on a smaller headband and not like an adult headband. So that's what the bottom side looks like, but I think it's really cute. This purple headband's even smaller. I don't know if this is going to fit. Oh my gosh, that's cute. See, these would be so fun for a Christmas party. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Let me know if you try this and what colors you used and if you wore it to like your work Christmas party or something or your family Christmas party. Let me know and I will see you guys next time.